Greetings once again, my friends. I hope you're doing well. And if you couldn't tell by the introduction, it's that time of year again. Spooky time. And I live in New England. And to me, one of the best times or experiences you can experience is fall in New England. The trees are starting to change. The air is getting cooler and crisper. And we've got Halloween coming up. So I've been using this little guy. Um, so far I have made, well, I don't really count the model build. I'm doing the Flying Dutchman for the Halloween 2023 build. And that thing is probably not going to be done uh, this year. So that might be a continuation build. But I got some goodies to show you guys. The vintage Halloween stuff that I've shown you in the past has gotten a lot of views, a lot of positive comments. Um, what I want to show you guys today isn't vintage, but it's going to be fun. And you know what's kind of depressing? All the stuff I've shown you guys, the vintage, vintage Halloween stuff, well, <laughs> I bought brand new. So that's kind of depressing. It's vintage now, and I bought it new. Um, what I want to show you today is something that's got the potential to become vintage at some day. Um, you guys may or may not have heard of the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is a really cool movie. Um, Mooney is one of the characters. Um, and he, <laughs> he actually played in Outlaw Josie Wales. He, he still has that kind of a stern kind of character, but... He put it best when, and I'm gonna quote him, killer clowns from outer space. Holy shit. <laughs> he made that line infamous in the movie because he thought that everybody was just playing a joke on him and trying to drive him out of the force. Anyway, my friends, this is from the film, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And if you haven't seen the movie, it, it, it's like almost one of those cult, it's achieved almost cult-like status. Uh, the film itself came out, I think it was 1988. Um, it was produced by the Kyoto Brothers. And I remember seeing the, uh, the trailer for it going, huh, that's, that's different. Now, I don't really like clowns. When I was a kid, um, I used to watch Bozo's Big Top. It was filmed out of Boston. Um, and there was another show with Willie Whistle, the clown, and whenever he spoke, he had like a squeak toy voice, and that was kind of annoying. But I never really cared for clowns, and over the years, you, I don't know, you may or may not relate to me, but from Pogo the Clown to John Wayne Gacy to, to It and other just different clown things, I don't really, I don't have colorophobia, but I just hate clowns. And then when I saw this movie, I just, I love these clowns. They're so cool. They're not like, maybe because they don't pretend to be something that they're not. The whole premise of this movie is they're aliens. They're a different species. They come from outer space and they're gonna use the human being as sustenance. So they come down and they stock up on their food supply. So maybe because they don't pretend to be something different. They're aliens, they're hostile, and they consume humans. Maybe that's why I like them, and uh, some of them are really cool. My favorite one, um, they call Spikey. I like him. I like Slim. I think my favorite one is the one that has the hammer. <laughs> when he's trying to get the little girl to go outside, and he's calling her, and... He's got this huge hammer that he's going to use on her, but I think he's my favorite. But anyway, the movie is the, um, the alien race, and I don't know if they did this because they studied humans and they knew something that would amuse humans, or it just, just happens to be their evolution. But everything about them, and even their ship, is very carnival, circus-like atmosphere right down to the to the guns um, when they take a human and they put them 
they make them into a food, future food source, and I'll get to that in a minute. They use this gun. And then they turn them into, it almost looks like cotton candy. And it's like a cotton candy cocoon. They also have popcorn in the gun. Um, and, and a lot of it is just a carnival atmosphere. Even when they're going through a town and they're cleaning up all the cocoons that were formerly humans, they're collecting them in this big, kind of like a circus vacuum cleaner. Um, it's a really fun movie. I, I think it's great. I love it. Um, I've loved it for a long time. Ever since it came out, I loved it. And I've shown it to my kids, and my kids have liked it. And my son actually has the, uh, the big prop, the newest one from Spirit Halloween, uh, Slim. And I, I want to get him so bad, it's just way too expensive. But anyway, when they turned the people into the food source, they would shoot them with a gun and they would be spun into a cotton candy cocoon for use for later consumption. And we see what they used for when they're all hanging in like a storage area and one of the clowns comes in and he puts in like a crazy straw and he drinks the fluid contents. But the whole way they get them to change into the cocoons in the first place is this gun and that's what brings me to today's video, this gun. And this is from Spirit Halloween. And I wish I would have known that before I bought this off eBay. Um, be careful. There's a lot of price gouges out there because I had no clue that these existed. And I had gotten this off eBay for like $25 more than it actually was a Spirit Halloween. Um, it was actually my son that told me where they originated from. At some point, I want to show you guys the popcorn gun because they have another weapon. It's like a rifle and it shoots popcorn and that'll be a fun video. Um, we'll see how this one goes first. But this is the cotton candy gun with spinning motion, flashing lights and sound. So the pieces in the front actually rotate. The top lights up and there's like a lightning bolt, like an electrical uh, discharge that kind of comes from it. And as soon as it hits the victim, they start to spin and it wraps them in this cotton candy cocoon like substance. So it has a try me mode. Let me demonstrate a few guys first. <laughs> I love it. And there's a couple of um, scenes where they actually use the gun. There's one that I remember is a puppet show where. Um, this guy is kind of walking through the park and he goes into a gazebo and the puppets are doing their little thing. And eventually the clown, Spikey, comes up through the top and he actually shoots him and he becomes a cotton candy cocoon. Another pretty cool scene is when um, this girl drinking wine, there's a door, uh, someone at the door, the doorbell rings, it opens it up and there's three clowns and they're holding pizza boxes. And in the voice, the clown goes, pizza. And she goes, huh, pizza. And then the lid opens and the little clown <laughs> pops out and he's got this gun. And when he shoots her, she, tu she turns into a cotton candy cocoon. So it is a really fun movie. If you guys ever get a chance to check it out, it's Killer Clowns from Outer Space. All right, let's take a look at this now. Um, I demonstrated it for you. This is an exclusive from Spirit Halloween, and it's got the Try Me button. You look at the top of the box, it's the cotton candy gun with spinning motion, flashing lights, and sound. And again, we get the logo. Let's see, the side of the box shows a nice picture of the weapon, Spirit Halloween at the bottom. Theatrical quality prop with motion, lights, and sound. And this is exactly how they look. I'm going to put up some clips of them using this on people, and it, they did a spot-on job with this. So let's see if both sides of the box are the same. Nope, it's different. Movie-inspired spinning motion. Flashing LED lights with authentic sound effects, and I love the popcorn. Uh, Spirit Halloween. And this is a 2022 release. There's nothing on the bottom, and let's check out the back. So this was $30 at Spirit Halloween. 
and I ended up getting it off eBay for like 30, 37 or 38 bucks. I wish I would have known, but I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't really go to Spirit Halloween. My son is into that a lot, and he gets a lot of the, the motion props, the animatronics. I just can't afford that. But anyway, let's look at the box. We've got the cotton candy gun, officially licensed, flashing LED lights, spinning motion, and authentic sounds. And this requires two AA batteries. Battery installation, safety instructions, remove the battery cover, remove the old batteries, insert new batteries, replace cover. This is kind of the safety stuff. And you can see on the bottom, MGM, and that's 2023. Use only batteries recommended in the instructions. Do not mix old and new batteries. Do not mix alkaline, rechargeable, standard, or different types of batteries. Again, it's just the, the different kind of batteries. Um, safety information, this is not a toy. For decoration only, actual item may vary slightly from the image, images on the package. So that's everything on the outside of the box. I gave you kind of a little rundown on the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Let's go over to the desk where there's more light and more room, and I'll show you guys this really cool prop from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. All right, let's take a look at this really cool movie prop. It's got like a plastic tray that we're gonna slide out. Just like that. Nothing else in the box. No paperwork or anything that I can see. All right, let's check this out. Um, let's see, is there anything holding this in? Nope, that was easy. All right, let's put this aside. Let's check this out. I love it. Look at this. <laughs> the details on this are so amazing. So I hope I don't get a copyright strike for this. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you some of the scenes that I was talking about um, when they use this gun. So hopefully I'm able to keep those scenes up in the video because they're really cool. Um, I love them. They're really fun. Um, I wouldn't even try to attempt a soundtrack because more than likely we won't be able to use that. What I was thinking of doing, um, the um, there's a part of the uh, the soundtrack that's pretty iconic, and it's got the down 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 now down 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 and I was thinking of doing that. Um, on the Les Paul, all distorted. I think it would sound pretty cool. If you guys are interested in learning how to play that, let me know and I'll put, uh, I'll do a video on that. Looking at the gun itself, um, when you look at the other side, this would be the port side or the, <laughs> the, the right side of the gun. You can see the area where they have the, the batteries. And I guess there's a little area where that would be the pull tab and there isn't an on an on and off switch which is a good thing and you can see where the speaker is so when you put it on you pull the trigger I love it I absolutely love it See, at some point, I want to get Slim, the animatronic, and he holds a bag of popcorn. Instead of the popcorn, I want him holding on to one of these guns. I think that would be pretty fun. 
you can see the the detail, the way the it's like it's a white um, material and it's got the red rectangles on it. It's got the blue front and it goes down to this area and it's the uh, the mechanism itself. This is what spins and the uh, kind of like an electrical current shoots from this end and it spins its victim into cocoons of cotton candy. Make some food for the killer clowns before they have their long space flight back home. There's a screw holding on the case and this takes two AA batteries and let's see. There's some writing on here. It says trademark 1988 Orion, also 2023 MGM. So Orion, um, 1988, that's when the film came out. And of course it's made in China. You can see the trigger is green and it has the pinstriping on one side. And I think that's where the mechanisms go together. And the handle itself is like a cotton candy pink and the cotton candy blue going down and it's comfortable it's fun <laughs> all right let's let's take someone out let's see i'm not going to shoot titanic let's take our little buddy out let's make him into a cotton candy cocoon so what would happen the let the electric current or the bolts would come through here hit the target and he would start to spin around and then he would be a cocoon um, made of cotton candy. They would put a hook on it, they would bring it into their warehouse, I guess their feeding station, and there's a room that has the open areas all over the place and they take the hook and they hang them all up for storage. So let's look at it from different angles while it's firing. Look at the lights. So this is a really, really fun prop from a very, very cool movie. And let me see if I, I'm gonna show you guys the battery compartment. Let's use the other one, if I can get it. So, let's say, all right, you had a season, fun Halloween season, and now you're gonna put it away. If you do like I do, you don't put these things away with the batteries. So I'm gonna take out the screw. And it's gonna slide forward. You can see the arrows. And I gotta make sure that the, uh, the screw is taken out. For some reason they don't like to come out all the way. See, there's a little area where you can put your thumbnail in. There we go. And you can see the batteries that are in here. So these are the ones that came with it. These were Kendall. Let me see if I actually have some new ones. Let's try the Duracells and see if there's a difference. And I like the Duracell batteries. I have used the Amazon ones too, but I think the Duracell ones are the best. 
And I should have said we put it off first. Okay. So we put the, the handle back. Um, I'm not gonna tighten it right away, but we put it on. Let's see if there's a difference. And there is a big difference between the Duracell and the Kendall. You can tell it alone by the lights. And again, this has probably been played with a thousand times, so the batteries are probably getting low. And you can see how this would be a drain on the batteries because the mechanism has to turn the wheel it turns this whole section in the front, and these lights are pretty bright that light up. And it's funny, when you look at it, you would never never tell that these lit. Um, but they do. They're pretty bright with the Duracells. So, my friends, I just wanted to share with you, this is really the first Halloween piece of the season. Um, and this is, this is so cool. This is just amazing. I love this gun. Again, this is from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. If I get a good um, response on this gun and people are interested, like I said, I'll do the, um, a tutorial on how to play some of the soundtrack, and uh, maybe we'll show you the popcorn rifle that they also have. So my friends, check out Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's a really fun movie. And until my next Halloween video, I'll talk to you soon.